Hi friends, I'm Alafla from Easy Approach and it's the 11th video of Flutter video series. And it's so far the most important videos because it is a video in which I have merged every concept that we have learned so far and we are going to make a practical layout. So actually this uh, here I have an example of this sort of bottom navigation that is uh, from the official documentation of Flutter in the layout section and I'm going to implement this in my application. So if you think how can we implement this? Uh, as we have learned so many um, layouts, uh, so many widgets, but that's for that's actually for layout like container, raw, and column. Now you can think this whole uh, you can think this whole thing is actually a container because it has a different sort of color as well and has a border as well. And inside the container, there are three different widgets placed evenly in a horizontal direction. So this horizontal direction actually uh, make you think that it's actually a raw inside a container. So we have basically a container inside it we have raw and in the raw there are three child and each of its child is actually a column widget because it contains two different widgets in vertical direction as you can see so basically we have at the root level a container inside the container we have raw inside the raw we have three different column so we can uh, make uh, now because we have already make, uh, made an algorithm of this uh, problem so I'm going in my application. It's the uh, previous application that we have made. So I'm going to go here and making here a container. I'm defining here a width of double infinity so that it takes the whole space. I'm not giving here any height because it would take uh, uh, depending on the content we will give inside this container. So inside the container, uh, I'm before uh, giving here child, we can also add uh, some color. So I'm going to give here a grayish color and you can also give the value uh, here. It would uh, make your color lighter and darker. The more the value, the more darker the color, but it should be in hundreds. So I'm making it 200. And now in the child, I can pass here a raw widget because uh, we have at first a column or a container inside the container. We have raw and inside raw, we have column widgets. So this column widget will actually contain this two thing icon and the text. Now to make the icon, we need to use icon widget and inside it, we need to pass what sort of icon you want to see. Now I want to show, I want to see here uh, the call icon and I can change the color of it as well. So I can choose here a blue color and I can, al I can also give the size of this uh, icon. So um, I want it to be a bit uh, bigger than its default value. So here I have an icon and I, I need to define here a text as well. So give here a text, call, and I'm also changing the color of this as well. You can give here color property and change the color. I, I am also um, making it a bit bolder. So you can choose here a property font weight. And to make it bold, you can choose font weight dot bold. Now, if I refresh it, you can see the container and inside the container, there is a column widget. There's one more thing. I need to have a bit uh, a space between these two widgets. So we can achieve it by using an empty container of height, uh, like four pixels. So, so we can, so we can make here a container and we can give height, um, let's say four pixels and what it, it, it will do, it will make uh, an empty container of four pixels. So you can see here. Uh, the space uh, between these two you can see a bit of space so that's actually what i do to make uh, a space between uh, uh, widgets uh, i use container of uh, 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 empty container actually so this is how you can space your uh, uh, your children so now what you can do uh, as we have three different column widgets so we can uh, we can copy it and paste it a number of times we want so if i refresh it you can see all of these containers now as these containers are as these columns actually are spaced evenly in the raw so we can also uh, give here a property as this raw in the in x axis and for x axis the main for a raw the main axis is actually the x axis so we can give here main axis alignment space evenly so if i refresh it you can see all of these uh, uh, widgets actually uh, is spaced evenly now I also need to give here a padding as well because you can see these all these widgets are are uh, are like uh, 
fix it in this uh, container so we want to have some space around it so what we can do we can give here a property of uh, padding edge inset dot uh, all i think dot all is not important because uh, already there is a, a, a padding at, at the left hand side and right hand side we just have to give uh, at top and bottom so we can use here only and we can specify here top uh, i want eight pixels of padding at the top and at the bottom i want eight pixels so if i refresh it you can see now uh, this uh, padding around these all thing so this is how you can achieve uh, this uh, layout it's not exactly the same because of the color and the sizes but this is uh, to give you idea and you can play now with these all of these things and you can make different sort of layout so now you are good to make your first flut flutter application uh, not functional but uh, a ui ux uh, you can do so this is how you can make this app uh, design so in the next video we'll learn some new topic uh, do some assignments and make new things uh, that we have learned so far and become a champ thank you for watching